Uh, let's go to a much more worrying situation where uh, the rating agency Fitch, and for those of you who do not know Fitch by now, I'm not too sure you are in Ghana, uh, but this time you should know Fitch, Moody's, and all those. Uh, the rating agency Fitch uh, sees more than 50% chance of Ghana defaulting on its debt repayment. They are seeing more than 15% chance that we will default in repaying the monies we have borrowed. Now, according to the rating agency, the country's sovereign credit rating may face another downgrade close, closer to default. If talks with the International Monetary Fund for a 3 billion US dollars package lead to debt restructuring. Okay, so it's on condition. So I'll get the, 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 the understanding from you. Are they saying that it, the 3 billion US dollars that is coming in from the IMF, if we use that to pay our debt, it's obvious that we cannot meet, meet whatever it is that we were, the debts that we want to pay. Is that what is being said here? Well, uh, I think what they are saying is mm -hmm. something we have all said already. Okay. Just that we are not coffee. <laughs> or Moody's. Or Moody's. Uh, no, that's, uh, but we've said right, some of these things right. already. Right, yeah. Well, when, when you talk about 50%, mm -hmm. in Chance. other words, you are saying possible. Mm -hmm. um, when it gets out of the 50%, mm. then you are looking at probable. Mm. Right. And, then, and so, well, uh, we all know that there has been that possibility okay. if we are unable to get an IMF program. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is what is delaying or might delay the reading of the budget if we are unable to get uh, that because then you lack so much credibility uh, having failed uh, in, uh, I mean, woefully mm -hmm. with your 2022 uh, budget. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, I mean, Investors have no business uh, staying in. Um, the recent shock that we had in terms of the exchange, the forex market, mm -hmm. was not due to anything, was not due to businessmen being greedy, was not due to pressure, was not due. It was due to about a two billion liquidation of investment by investors. They took the monies out. They took the monies out. That is, that is the reality. They will not tell you the truth, right? Um, most of the uh, treasury bills rates uh, in terms of interest are going so high, I mean, over 30%. And th that tells you that if, if nothing is done in the near term, um, what is threatened is uh, the principal. Um, now, if I am not making much or whatever I am making in terms of 30% is in not enough reward for me to keep that principal in there, then I would have to liquidate. Mm. That puts more pressure on government. Now, it is also now not attractive for government to go onto the bond market mm -hmm. because investors will be asking for um, outrageous uh, or coupon rates. And that will not be good for government as well. So what government will resort to is borrowing from uh, BOG. And how do they borrow from BOG? It means that BOG is going to increase uh, money supply, and mm -hmm. that is more inflation. So put um, more cities in, print more money. Exactly. That is more inflation. Now, what is happening is that instead of taxation, mm -hmm. we have resorted into inflation. Mm. So at this point, all revenue engineering that you would sought to do would fail. Because no matter what you come up with, it is not going to meet or you will not be able to meet the targets in terms of revenues just because of inflation. And that's where coming from what? Because the GRA even within these difficult times have met their, uh, their projections and even more. Yes, you have, you have met your projections. Okay. But because of inflation, okay. you have in terms of... Uh, how much the money is worth, worth, you have not met it. Oh, okay. Because yeah. now for a project that uh, you needed a million to do, mm. and that mm. either two was six uh, million Ghana cities, mm -hmm. is now 13 million. 
So your your projections you 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 will have are all gone uh, wayward. I mean, um, everything you sought to do today, inflation is our new tax mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of the instability we have in terms of the currency, and that is what needs to be checked first and foremost. We cannot do that without ensuring that there is some sanity on the bond market. Mm -hmm. And that is confidence. Mm -hmm. And with whatever going on, and what Fitch is saying and all that, rather takes more away than bring yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the more they speak about it, uh, the more, the less people are confident. Uh, well, even think? if they don't speak about it. They know. Most of the investors you are talking about are a lot are more knowledgeable. Uh, to read between the lines. Mm. Uh, they are facing the data. They will not be facing the rhetorics that we put out. Mm. Uh, uh, the vice president goes out to say, you know, that is not loud enough. The data speaks for itself mm. and they monitor the data and the data tells them that it is not good at this point in time to invest in this or that. I've not heard anyone speak largely about one professor Steve Hank, Steve Hank, who is, I think, um, John Hopkins University, mm -hmm. that is always on our issue. Mm -hmm. And from how he writes, I don't know who is running that account, though, whether or not the person is real. But from the way he speaks, it's, it's, it could even scare people because he's, he's quoting our inflation as 104 the last time I checked, not 37% that we are quoting. Well, it depends on what basket you are using, mm. right? Mm -hmm. if, if you are using a bag of cement, which is more than 100% in terms mm. of inflation, then of course, mm. you know, there is what we call the core inflation and then the headline inflation. Mm -hmm. The headline inflation has a multiple of items in there mm -hmm. and core so inflation. So that culminates into so that. Okay. So it depends on what you are doing. Mm. I can also tell you, mm -hmm. right, that if you take the inflationary growth, the growth in inflation, mm -hmm. you plot it on a graph mm -hmm. and then you plot uh, uh, money supply, mm -hmm. right, I can tell you that that is an output. So the output comp the growth in your output, the difference between, percentage mm -hmm. difference between, mm -hmm. represents your output. Mm -hmm. Now, the output, right, that you are actually achieving, let's assume that you are achieving an output of 3%, yet you have a growth of about 35%. I can say that the difference is inflation. Mm. There are several ways of, I mean, analyzing data. Okay. What we have not done so well in, in this country mm -hmm. is actually speaking to data. We don't speak to data. We don't? We don't. We only take a few figures and talk about that. Hey, today inflation is this percentage. Then we all talk about that. And then we, we go back and sleep. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow we talk about GDP. And then another time we talk about the yielding or uh, the rates on the bond market. And then another time we speak. We, we, we have not addressed the data holistically. I mean, and these are data produced by either the Ministry of Finance, uh, uh, BOG, uh, Ministry of Trade and all that. And I think that is what uh, we need to analyze. But the same data is what um, like the opposition is, has spoken largely to that uh, are being cooked. And so if we would have to rely on the data of the Ministry of Finance, indeed, uh, uh, Senor Hosi, CEO of uh, Bulk oil distributors even had spoken about relying on the data of Ministry of Agriculture, and then he lost investment to the tune of one billion Ghana cities are here. Uh, well, it depends. So who, you see, if you look at data mm -hmm. in one just one direction, mm -hmm. then you would you would find yourself in trouble. Okay, you would have to look at data holistically. Okay, and that's something we'll soon be doing. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that we can do all these analysis. So exactly. what is me? What they are saying is that, whether we like it or yes, we are in trouble. Fitch. Oh, we have been in trouble for a long time. Just as you have said. But <laughs> the levels of trouble. No, usually when you say this, uh, it depends. They would have to look at your the color of your skin. I'm sure the critics would have to yes. look at the color of your skin. 
where you are coming from, whether you have a party card and whatever, and so they will discount that. Yeah. When it comes from these places, uh, it gets I, to buttress your point. I, I will always have a party card. Okay. But you see, the, the thing about data, if you play with, with data, yeah. it will mess you up. Right. Right. If 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 the truth is staring at you mm -hmm. and you decide to twist it in mm -hmm. a way to favor you, look, uh, data and economics is is not a respecter mm -hmm. of anybody mm -hmm. because they are natural forces. They are not artificial. Mm -hmm. Garbage in, garbage out. Yes, they are natural forces, mm -hmm. and, um, and economics is science. Mm -hmm. So I mean, when I see people. I mean, you, you were in this country when somebody said, because of 750 million, if you don't go and sell your dollars, you, you would be uh, losing very soon yeah. and all that. You know, and you would kind of wonder, what, what is he talking about? <laughs> you know, is and, and that would rather give people who have knowledge of those issues um, the more reason to not to have confidence. Yeah. In, in the managers of this okay. economy. I see. Yeah. I 